right guys, so we got the camera going. We're going to uh, notch the frame. And it'll be about right here on the frame. There's a hole. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on from under here. There's a hole right here somewhere. So we're gonna notch the frame and then notch this just a little bit. Notch it about right here for a couple inches. And yeah, there's the hole right there. So we'll just cut down to the hole and that's it. And with the with this car not being a frame off build, usually we do it a little different, but with us not taking the body off the frame, it's impossible to be able to do it like we usually do. So we're just, we're just gonna notch a V out of the top. And then, yeah, we'll finish welding this. I just cut the washers out. For the all thread, we gotta cut these off uh, to be able to get the nut off. And then we'll take the window bars off and we'll strap all this. Then once we're done with the trunk, we'll move move on to the front. But we're gonna cut the V in the frame, notch the side, and then strap the trunk, push the bumper in, do the bumper strap, and then we'll put the motor and tranny in. So I've got the time-lapse video going. And move along with this. Uh, we do gotta push the side in, uh, like, two and a half three inches that side's already collapsed then we'll run a bead around it just to make sure that it doesn't come come off so yeah fun stuff All right, so we just strapped the trunk, put the window bars back in, got the washers on. So next step, we're going to collapse the bumper and do the bumper strap. And we got this cut and beat over a little bit. And we got the, the triangle cut out the top. So we'll smash this in, give it a bead around it, and then do the bumper straps, and then move on to either putting the engine in or bolting stuff down inside. So stay tuned. All right, so we just got the trunk done. So we're going to move on to probably putting the motor and tranny in. So, follow along. Get you set up on the time lapse. All right, so we got a good steering clearance. Don't mind how the tunnel's done. We will be fixing that up a little bit, making it look pretty. 
Uh, we've got two and three quarter inches of steering clearance on center link. Uh, not sure if we should go a little further back and bring this pad all the way up. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but motor sitting pretty damn close within an inch or so of where it's gonna end up getting welded in. Uh, we've got good steering box clearance on the cradle. We've got good clearance on the tranny and the tunnel. And then we're gonna cut all these bolts off, tighten them down one more time. And then uh, tomorrow we're gonna bolt everything in where it's supposed to go, put a steering column in and a front clip on, or a, actually probably start working on that bumper. I gotta go get oxygen. Oh, sorry, got the hiccups. Go get uh, oxygen and probably acetylene. But let me know what you guys think. I've never put a stock bell in a Cadillac before. I've always put uh, steel bells and they usually sit forward like three more inches than this. But that's about where we're at with it. Uh, just waiting to get a word back from TJ if that's where he wants it. And we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Finish putting the motor in. Pulled all that stuff down. We did get the front window bars uh, all done. Uh, yeah. So stuff's moving along pretty decent. Uh, like I said, we'll get all the inside stuff bolted down where he likes it. And the shifter welded in, the fuel pump mounted. And then we've got about a day's worth of work uh, doing that bumper. But everything's looking like it will work out pretty good. So not really sure. I got to get some more oxygen acetylene to at least blow a hole in here and then drill through to clean it up. I don't know if I've shown you guys this halo bar too much, but I really liked how it turned out. We've got the trunk all strapped. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go around with this and burn a bead in on this because that's driving me nuts that everything else is welded. We got the shocks pushed all the way in and welded on the top. Uh, let me know what you guys think. This thing should be pretty raked out when we're done. We still have to put a rear end in and all that good fun stuff. So we did uh, find an, a whoopsie on this motor. Try to show you guys, but the freeze plug is gonzo. So TJ is gonna have to put one in it or order one and I'll put it in it. I just don't want to be the one that breaks this engine, so. I'd feel more comfortable if he did it, but it doesn't matter to me. And then we still gotta level out the rear of the A-arms. And then strap them down. But it's coming along nice. Let me know what you guys think. And I've got tons of time lapses that you guys have already watched, so. Glad I found the second phone. So, cool. Have a good night.